Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Clinton, Arkansas, with JC News Now, as he tries to file some FOIA complaints at the local sheriff's office. Ah, uh, more FOIA requests. What else is new with these jackasses? So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, I hope. There's old Glory waving in the breeze like she should be. How are you? Good, you? Doing swell. What are you doing? Uh, pretty obvious, isn't it? Well, you'll be a detective before you know it. <laughs> yes, Jimmy boy, there are cameras recording your every move in that place. It's there for security reasons. Why? Because you're filming inside of a detention center. I mean, I'm sure there's got to be some security threat that uh you could pose by bringing that camera in there. But let's see what happens. Directing 9-6. They keep it pretty clean in here. I guess this is where you have visitation. That must be the jail. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Five minutes later. How are you? Can we help you? Yes, can, uh, can I have your name and badge number first? You're not going to identify? My name is Karen. You got a badge number? Thank you, ma'am. Was that so hard? It's like pulling teeth with you guys. Yes, ma'am. I'd like an officer complaint form, please. And a FOIA request. And a what? A freedom of information request. I don't have the freedom of information well, request back here. Well, there should be readily available legally, lawfully. I don't need to talk to an officer, I need a form to take to my lawyer's office. We'll fill it out together. Oh, you've got a lawyer now. Since when did this happen? Because, you know, judging by your uh, view stats right here, I doubt that you're, be you're getting any YouTube money out of what you're doing right now. Because less than 2 million views is not exactly a moneymaker at this time, dude. Okay, you, need, you want a voluntary statement? No. I'm going to write it down and go over it with your IA department, with my lawyer. I'm going to write down my complaint and my request. You want a complaint for? Yes. That's a voluntary statement. That's what okay. that is. Okay, yes, ma'am. Thank you. I don't know if you call them sunshine requests or FOIA requests. I need a... I don't know if I have any back here. Well, I can give it to you on a blank piece of paper even, as long as you give me a time stamp. My apologies for the camera work. It's not my fault that this guy's a complete moron. I mean, I've tried to fix it as much as I can, but you know what? You can only fix so much stupid. Sir, yes. I know it's your First Amendment right to record in here, but mm -hmm. you can't record sensitive information. Yes, can. I can and I will. Don't spout that shit to me. I don't want to hear it. Got it? What's your name and your badge number? My name is Joseph Tichazo, badge 53. All right, you got a sergeant? You ain't got a sergeant on duty? Come on, there's an XO. No. No? I work in the jail, I'm not on the other side. Okay. So don't bark orders if you ain't got a law to back them up. Got it? You don't bark orders at citizens unless you got a law to back it up. Understood? Hey. Do you hear me? You can't talk to yeah. me like Yes, I can. You're a public servant. You work for me, buddy. Oh, really? Is your name on my paycheck? Did you train me for this position? Did you authorize any of my gear for me? I mean, if you did, then yeah, you're my supervisor. But if not, go kick rocks, you freaking moron. I'll talk to you any way I please. That's called First Amendment too. You got it? Get your butt out of here and get to work. 
Go on now. Don't waste no more tax dollars. I'll talk to you any way I want to, dumb dumb. You think this is my first rodeo? I've been doing this longer than you've been alive, son. You pretty much cop that same type of attitude with somebody else at a dispensary and it was this guy right here ended up whipping your ass over it. And guess what? It wasn't prosecuted because you were the one that started it all. How's that feel, dude? Knowing that the Constitution may apply, but it still has its limits and there are consequences for all your actions. And you paid the price that day. Remember that, dude. People will Take your bullshit only so far before they push back. You did a good job. That's the way we want our public servants to act. I only give it what I get. I don't hate police. I don't like bad policing. I'm doing a First Amendment audit. Compliance check. Make sure y'all got it together. Dumbass, you're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. How are you doing? I'm doing swell. I'm living the dream. I'm trying to get a freedom of information request. You know, these guys tie up a lot of resources with these FOIA requests, but do they actually use the information that they gather, or is it just thrown away in the garbage as soon as they get home? I would wager the latter. Do you have an officer I can talk to for a second? Come here. Uh, how's the most wanted list going? I've noticed there's been one feller on top of it for about two years. The most wanted list? Uh, yeah. For the most wanted list on, on the website? Yeah. And that's generally um, an automatic update for our warrants and stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure I'd have to take a look at it, but we're constantly or actively looking for anybody who's wanted. Okay. Well, I don't hate police. I don't like bad policing. Okay. Most of my family's blue. Gotcha. And so I'm going to make okay. sure everybody's acting right. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't want none of y'all to get hurt. Not while I'm alive. Y'all are my cops. Yes, sir. And ain't nobody gonna mess with y'all as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Me thinks you're the black sheep of the family that you got disowned for all your uh, crimes in the past because, well, if you just said that your entire family or most of your family is the blue, then, well, what happened to you? Did it, did you, uh, get disowned by them, like I said earlier, or did you just decide that, well, Maybe if I'm a criminal scumbag, maybe I shouldn't be hanging around these people because it's bad for my image. Ah, yeah, that might be it. That might be it. I mean, he thought that he uh, would be uh, dragged down to the depths of hell by them. Well, yeah, that's got to be it. But you know what? I hate to say it. It's not hanging around your family that would drag you down into hell. It's the other people that you were hanging around with that got you put into prison to begin with that dragged you into hell. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.